Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is a rundown of brand new Blender add-ons that you probably missed. And this week we do have a good number of add-ons that you definitely want to work with in your next project. And as well, a challenge from the folks at Blender Nation alongside Blender artists with Sketch5 that would earn you an opportunity to attend the next Blender conference, all expense paid and the cash price. And for those who like to know more about this, simply stick around the video where you can know every single thing you need to join this challenge and the amazing opportunities and prizes to be won. And with that said, let's get right into to it. The Particle Library is a huge growing collection of pre-made, fully customizable particle animations made for Blender. This is practically a one-stop shop for all things particle with over 50 animations across 8 different categories. The Particle Library also includes 10 high-quality pre-made animated assets which you can use to drive particles depending on what you want, from abstract to explosions, paper bags, parts, zero gravity and so on, for you to create that realistic and dynamic particle animation that you've wanted. With a good number of insect swarms animations that also comes with this, which ranges from butterflies to bees, flies and also mosquitoes, the particle library would definitely bring a sense of realism and breathe some life into your next scene. And for those who like to create fire, smoke, sparks, snows, rain, swarms of different sets of insects with pre-made assets and also pre-designed particle systems, then this is available for you to grab and start simulating that particular effect or animation that you've always wanted. And if you've ever wanted to turn your 3D scene into a painting, then Alan White has done something that is phenomenal. The Blender Illustrator Advanced Shader allows you to convert any geometry that you have in Blender into painting. This version of the Advanced Shader comes with Blender Illustration Shader, Geometry Node Groups, Color Filter Node, Painterly Border Node, and so much more. This is currently available for both EV and Cycles, so just in case you're thinking about rendering any 3D scene as paintings, or maybe you have a 3D asset that you'd like to convert into a paint, then you can consider checking this out and getting the best out of it. And with ever-growing geometry nodes, we are getting more and more procedural assets and also procedural generators coming every single week. And Koan has actually created something that is super nice. The procedural building generator is a wonderful building generator that allows you to convert any object that you have in Blender into buildings. This is super easy to work with as it comes with different styles of buildings that you can pick up from the asset browser, throw into your scene and start creating. The best part, you can also tweak these things to your heart content and you can push these styles to whatever you want. Currently this comes with 6 different kinds of building and Koan has also promised to update these and also increase the number of styles that will be coming with this suit. And the idea is for you to easily tweak any geometry that exists within your scene and convert these things to building. The modular workspaces for Blender made available by Cortis is a combination of add-on and asset library files designed to speed up your workflow. So instead of creating stuff every single time you're working, you can now take advantage of the modular workspace, drag and drop pre-made collections and assets into your scene and start creating from there. With a single press of a button, you can save yourself minutes and in certain cases hours. And just like all the tools from Cortis Halt, the modular workspaces for Blender follows the trend of saving you time and allowing you work more efficiently. Cyberdeck is a collection of hard surface sci fi kit bash elements from Chip Walters. This is the new installment of his famous K Pack insert, and this is perfect for space station artists or sci fi hobbies. Artists can now take advantage of these assets and mock up different kinds of scene in little to no time. Cyberdex comes with different kinds of assets which you can play with, also options to allow you place an asset on a selected asset, and as well, artists would have options to sci fi panels and text gen that can be placed on assets to polish the overall looks. And for sure, Chip Walters has created several things over time, so just in case you like to see the sci fi pro plus flex or maybe you might want to take advantage of the quick shot or several tools that he has created then you should definitely pay a visit to his storefront and if you're into geometry nodes, creating stuff most times gets a bit tricky. There are certain times you like to get certain nodes to make stuff which probably may not exist in Blender currently. Node++ is an advanced node group for Blender which ships with 125 node groups to allow you create that amazing abstract and dynamic stuff in Blender. The nodes that you get comprises of attributes, colors, curves, generators, meshes, modifiers, primitives, utility nodes and so much more. So if you're into creating stuff with the geometry nodes and you've been wondering where you can find additional nodes that you can use to advance your geometry node creation, then Node++ from Mohammed might just be the right one for you. The beta version of Bagapai 8 is here. 
Vagapi is a free add-on that ships with parametric presets, scattering tools, random arrays, management and optimization, displacement instances, and so much more, with the Beta 8 promising to push the boundaries of what Vagapi can offer. Currently, the developers have been teasing lots of impressive and cool features that will be coming to Vagapi 8, from short distance all the way to IV generators that would actually attach to any object, some wonderful parametric controls, and so much more. Currently, Vagapi has a couple of assets that can be purchased while the Vagapi modifies fire is totally free. So if you would like to get the assets that ships with Bagapai, you will be able to take advantage of all 340 plus assets that Bagapai has to offer. And before we get into our honorable mentions for this week, the folks at Blender Nation alongside Blender Artists and Sketchfab are offering you a chance to attend the 2022 Blender Conference. At the same time, you'll be able to join the 20th celebration of Blender as an open source tool with an all expense paid trip to Amsterdam and a couple of prizes. And how can you join this? Every single Blender user remembers their first splash screen and it is quite unique to you. And what they're looking for is for you to reimagine your favorite splash screen of all time and simply create these and upload it for real-time viewing on Sketchfab. Remixing of existing splash screens are highly welcome and what the judges are actually looking forward to see is the most imaginative and surprising designs that makes great use of Sketchfab's real-time 3D web viewer. So for anyone who would like to participate and stand the chance of having an all-expense paid trip to Amsterdam, attend Blender's 2022 conference and also celebrate the 20th anniversary of Blender as an open source tool, then you might want to consider joining this challenge. There's a set of rules and guidelines for the submission and submission deadline is is on the 15th of September 2022. So if you're feeling excited about this, link is going to be in the description so do well to check it out. If you've always wanted a nebula generator along with a procedural material, Sofain is doing an add-on bundle. This is a combination of two shader tools that he has made and he's doing a 15% discount. Now for anyone who would like to purchase this individually, of course you can go over to his storefront where you can get this as, as individual products but you will be spending more for that. Furthermore, if you'd like to get his entire add-on and shader pack, he's doing a 70% off discount for this right now. So just in case you want any of this, you can come through and grab them for yourself. Sofa Collections version 1 from River Hill is available for a very tiny price. So instead of getting one model per price, he's doing an entire collection that comprises of 10 different models, which you can use across different versions of Blender to style your scene. And if you're really into architectural visualization and you're looking for scenes that you can use, or probably you're looking for scenes that you can rip off and get certain things from, then the folks at Evermotion does have wonderful sets of models that you can grab. Right now, their Architecture Interiors Volume 57 for Blender is available. This comes with 10 different seals, high quality models, fully textured and ready for rendering. The folks at Evermotion are known for having high quality assets and alongside, they also do have some very wonderful vegetation. So just in case you're into architectural visualization or vegetation, you might want to find something from them that might be helpful for you. Studio Rohan has just announced the Geometry Node Smooth and Randomize. So with these node groups, you can now easily smooth and randomize your geometries within the Geometry Node. So what this actually allows you to do is pretty simple. You can smooth out surfaces. At the same time, you can randomly select different parts of your meshes based on the index selection. So we've already talked about how you can work with index selection previously on the channel, but in certain cases, you might want to do these things rapidly across various parts of your model. And this is where this add-on comes in handy. Studio Royal is also the creator of the procedural stitches, which we've talked about on the channel. At the same time, they do have lots of other procedural stuff like the procedural zipper, the procedural snacks, and lots more. So if you're into geometry nodes and you're looking for procedural stuff, then you might want to consider checking this one out and see what you can get. And finally, we're giving a good shout out to Santos Library. So previously we talked about Santos Library and his procedural materials, and the material library has been growing ever since. Currently, the material library has hit 180 materials and it is growing every single week. Right now, if you like to get this and try it for yourself, you can actually get the Santos Light, which comes with 28 materials and 8 shader tools. At the same time, if you like to get the full version and continually get updates as they get released, then the 180 plus material version is one that you might definitely want to check out. Top quality materials that he has here, and the best part, all these materials are fully procedural and you have lots of adjustable parameters for them. So, this is more like it. For those who like to take advantage of all of this, links to this is going to be in the description so do well to check it out and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and until i see you guys in the next one peace